Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make a pair of shorts, specifically a pair of swimming shorts. So these you could wear to the lake, to the beach, to the pool, anywhere you're going this summer in your swimming suit, these will be perfect to wear over them. So the supplies that you are going to need for this project are of course, you're first going to need some fabric. And I just got this fabric at Joann's in the swim swimwear and dance section. Um, it's it has about 10% lycra in it, and lycra is spandex. They're the same thing, just two different um, names for them. So it has a lot of stretch to it, and it actually has four-way stretch, which means it'll stretch in any direction that you pull it in, which is the type of fabric that you're going to want. You need that, and then you'll need one inch wide elastic that will fit all the way around your waistline, and thread, of course, your sewing machine, of course, and I got, um, when sewing with um, knits or anything that stretches, it's always good to use a specific needle. So there is stretch needles. These are the single needles. They come in packs of five that you can buy. And there's also a stretch twin needle that is important to get as well. You'll also want to have some pattern paper or any type of paper that you can make a pattern out of and a pair of shorts that you already like the fit of that we can make a pattern from. Let's get started. So to make your pattern for your shorts, you're just gonna lay your shorts out like this in half, and you're gonna start with the top. So pretty much you're just gonna follow the line of your shorts. However wide they are, you're gonna go that wide, but you're also gonna be adding seam allowances along the way. So at the top, I added an inch seam allowance because that is going to be where our encasing is for our elastic. On the sides, I also added um, about three quarters of an inch seam allowance. You can do a half inch seam allowance or whatever you prefer to use. Um, I did that and you could even add more if you want your shorts to be a little looser than the ones you are using to make the pattern. So we did that as well. And then you don't actually want to follow the leg of your pattern coming down in the front or in the back because if you look underneath your shorts, you're missing all of this fabric. Um, so that is not getting traced. So you're gonna wanna start coming down a little straighter and you're gonna wanna start curving outwards. This way, it will fit around your bottom and um, your front and it'll fit a lot better. What I also did is at the ends, it starts curving out because that is when it's gonna curve around your leg and into where it will meet just below your crotch seam. So that is also very important. So that you're just going to have to play around with and see what fits comfortable for you. Um, if you're just making your pattern, that is going to be your best bet. Just get some cheap fabric and then try it on and make sure it fits for you. The other thing you're going to do, so you're going to do that on both sides and then you're just going to want to meet those up and this is what is going to go around your thigh. So this just has to fit around your thigh. You are also going to want to make sure that you add all of your seam allowances on the sides, on the top like I said before, and on the bottom. You're going to want to make sure that you have the length right and then you account for the seam allowance to turn under and to hem the shorts. So that is how you are going to make that pattern. It's going to be, it might be a little tricky, but just play around with it and see what you like best and this way you can have a custom pair of shorts that will fit you just the way you want them to. Our next step is going to be cutting out our fabric and you might have noticed on my pattern I had the greatest degree of stretch going across the pattern so that will go around my body so you're going to want to figure that out for your fabric. Um, mine I felt like it was just parallel to the salvage edge so that is what I have lined that line up with. Um, and to cut out this type of fabric, like swimwear, dancewear, fabric, um, it's a lot easier to use a rotary cutter, um, which you can find at any fabric store. Um, it cuts a lot smoother and a lot nicer and just very clean edges. So I have my rotary cutter and then I have my cutting mat underneath my fabric down here. That is what is the blue thing. And then another thing you might want to get, which I actually don't have, is weights. So I just use random things that I have laying around, like I'm going to use my candle and that will just hold everything in place while I'm cutting so nothing moves and I don't have any issues. Now I'm ready to start cutting 
and you just hold it down. Be careful not to cut yourself. And I am cutting through both layers um, so that I will be getting two pieces. So I'm just going to cut this out all the way around.